Hi Chicago, this is Emma Sislowski, and today we are going to be talking about the iPhone 5. So the iPhone 5 recently came out. Apple did a pretty good job making the changes. So people that were transitioning from the 4S to the 5 had an easy time. So first of all, the screen is a lot taller but the screen isn't wider so the iPhone still fits comfortably in your hand. The iPhone itself is thinner. It's actually 18% thinner than the previous model and 20% lighter. Something new that this iPhone has is LTE, which stands for Long Term Evolution, which is basically the new network that this iPhone is running on. According to Bob Mansfield, the senior vice president of Apple, it's actually faster than most Wi-Fi networks at home. Something else that's new on the iPhone is the new Maps program, and the directions are actually spoken to you while you're driving. Also some new updates on the camera, and the phone actually can take panoramic photos. The app FaceTime now works not only with Wi-Fi, but the LTE network. Facebook is integrated directly into iOS 6, so you can share to Facebook directly from the pictures. So some things I don't like about the iPhone 5. There's a new connector which is a lot smaller, but at the same time it's new and it's not compatible with previous models. So all the chargers and adapters people bought are going to be no use for the new phone. Also there have been some minor updates with Siri. The new Siri for iPhone 5 can now pull up sports scores and even make reservations at restaurants. Even with Siri's ability to understand more questions, it doesn't change the fact that Siri is primarily unreliable. But for people who are willing to leave Apple, there is a phone alternative. The HTC One X is another smartphone on the market that's $100 less than the iPhone 5. It has a significantly bigger screen and still fits comfortably in your hand. But this is also a big jump from the iPhone 4S. Although the iPhone 5 comes with an update for Maps, internet connection, an update on FaceTime, and minor updates to the camera. I personally don't think it's worth spending an extra $100 when you can get the 4S for now $99. For a teen that's using the phone primarily for calls, apps, and pictures, and occasionally internet and email, the iPhone 5 isn't worth it. These iPhones are priced from $199, and this iPhone comes in black and slate or white and silver. I'm Emma Sislavsky, and thanks for watching.